with Bill Ward. Are you there when they light him on fire? Oh, yeah, you heard about that? Yeah, I was, I was sitting next to him. So, Bill, we're all sitting in the control room. The tape machine is on the back wall. And, you know, we had a bottle of alcohol that we used with the Q-tip to clean the heads. And that used to sit with some editing tape and some other miscellaneous things. So Tony used to take the alcohol and um, he'd have his socks on. He'd play almost barefoot or, or he had the, you know, the Converse sneakers. But when they said his, that he threw alcohol on his feet and then he lit his foot on fire and then he's trying to stamp out the fire and then the rug's catching on fire because all the alcohol's in the rug. And, you know, they, <laughs> poor Bill, it was like, torture all the time it was like constantly constantly picking on bill there were so many unmentionable things that happened uh, i still remember as clear as day we got into using sound effects for some reason i pulled sound effects out of something and we would just add sound effects into whatever bill was talking about you know that we would roll some sound effects into it and uh, (laughs) um Um, it just gave so they just thought that was the funniest thing in the world. So, um, yeah, that was there when they set him on fire. Yeah. And so does he go to the hospital right after that? Or how does that, uh, end up? How did the fire get put out? Uh, he just had another beer. He just what? Had another beer? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He just, you know, put it out by stepping on his feet in himself. Tony's sitting there laughing and then he just he goes, I need another beer, Joe. Any other pranks stand out with Bill? Are there any other ones that were just like phenomenal? Um, there's some that I don't really want to mention because nowadays it was wrong, but back then it was fine. <laughs> but we had, you know, I think it was good stuff. Um, I think but if I you also, preface it uh, with with that, we preface it with that was okay back then, we'll be fine, right? <laughs> but what we ended up doing for some re- oh, that was the other thing that we did that we thought was hysterical. But uh, I went ahead, like in the cutting room, I think for some reason we had helium in the cutting room. And... I went in and I sucked a a bunch of helium down and I came into the studio and started talking to him, you know, in the high pitched voice. They thought that was the funniest thing in the world. They, it was hysterical. They just all night long. So we used up all the helium in the cutting room and they had to order some more for the cutting room. But when they ordered more, they ordered two or three more cylinders and kept them in the studio. So we had... Uh, Tony would sit there and take a hit of the helium and, of course, you know, start singing some of the songs. So did Ronnie. Everybody was doing it because that was the funniest thing ever. So then the next step we went with the helium is they told me to go down to the local porn shop and get one of those blow-up dolls. And I said, okay. So I go down to the porn shop, which we were in Miami, and I think there was a few of them down on Dixie Highway, which was close to the studio. So I come back with this uh, blow-up doll, and you you know the type I'm talking about. It has its arms and its legs were stiff straight out. Right, big so, mouth. Yeah. So we had the bright idea of filling it up with helium. Well. We wanted to launch it. We had a Criteria shirt. And you know what? I have a feeling I have pictures of that somewhere. But we put a Criteria shirt on it, and we were out in the parking lot. We were trying to launch this thing from the parking lot. And we weren't engineers, like, you know, physics engineers. We were just regular recording engineers. So, obviously, it was heavier than the amount of helium. So, I forgot who had the bright idea of going and get some garbage bags then filling all the garbage bags with the helium and then tying the garbage bags to the arms and the legs. <laughs> so we used enough garbage bags with helium to fly this uh, doll, watch it from the parking lot of the studio. And, uh, and there she took off face down with a criteria shirt on and it lifted off like a, like a helium balloon into the atmosphere and it where it ended up, who knows? That took like a whole day. Right, I was going <laughs> to say, no wonder it took three months to do the album. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, that was, uh, that was a fun thing to do. But, you know, a lot of the stuff that, um, that they joked about, and it, again, it has to do with a lot of British humor, is, you know, they hated the Nazis. They hated Hitler. They really despised him, and, but they joked about it all the time. That's what I was saying, is that, you know, they were, they were just totally joking about it to where um, Bill Ward was playing uh, Hitler, and uh, they would talk to Bill as if he's Hitler in the studio. And uh, I, I, I was trying to remember, but I know that I have a tape somewhere I have to find it. But um, it was it was so comical. And he smoked so many cigarettes, if I remember correctly. Bill Ward did? Bill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beer and cigarettes. <laughs>